guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing my February Boxy Charm. This month's theme is Afterglow. It comes with this really pretty card. And on the back, it lists all the products, a short description, and how much it costs. So let's just get right into the unboxing. The first item that I see is right here, and I'm super, super excited because this is the No Pore Blem primer from touch and soul i have this primer and i'm about like halfway out and i absolutely love it it smooths out your pores it's like a pore filling primer and it just leaves your skin feeling so smooth and it's a great base before applying foundation i love this primer no matter what time of year and it really does smooth out the skin and this retails for 18 dollars. it says it creates a seamless canvas for your foundation and it's a light silky texture that blurs pores and wrinkles giving your skin a soft velvet feel I absolutely agree with that because your your skin just feels amazing so I know I will be getting plenty of use out of this primer because I absolutely love it and the next item is this ginormous mascara this is a full-size mascara of the Too Faced better than sex mascara which retails for $24. I have tried the little mini size and it was good but I don't really know how to feel about it. Like I think I have to give it another try to really see like how I feel about it and like how, what it does for my lashes because honestly I don't really remember how I felt when I used like the little sample size. It says indulge in a mascara that actually lives up to its name. It separates, coats, and curls each lash to voluptuous perfection and it locks your lashes in a perfect curl. I hear a lot of people rave about this mascara and I've never like really been one to like want to have it in like the full size but this is what it looks like. It has a really nice wand. Um, I feel like it's kind of big for the lower lashes. So I'm really excited to try it out and see if it's worth it. The next item is from the brand Pharmacy, which is really exciting because I have never tried anything from this brand. And I feel like it's a newer brand sold at Sephora. And it just seems like a very like clean, almost like organic company. So I'm excited to have something from them this month. This is the Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser, and this retails for $22. It comes with 3.4 fluid ounces, so I'm not quite sure if this is full size or if this is kind of like a smaller size that they offer. It says soothe and hydrate your skin while lifting dirt, excess oil, impurities, grime, and makeup. This cleanser is made for daily use, keeping those with sensitive skin in mind. It is formulated with naturally derivative ingredients. Some of those are coconut sugar, amino acids, chamomile, turmeric. There's a couple more, but it seems like a very, you know, like organic, clean type of company. So I'm excited to try this out. I have very, very sensitive skin. So with it being so like clean in the ingredients I'm hoping this cleanser works out for me and if you guys have tried anything from pharmacy that you guys would recommend definitely let me know down in the comments because I am looking into switching up my skincare routine and I have a couple brands in mind and I'm also open to suggestions and next I have this Tristique Prime and Glaze Lip Crayon. This retails for $25 and it says it's a two-in-one lip duo which features a luxurious lip primer and a shiny color glaze on the other side. So the primer it says is right here which is so so tiny. It looks really pretty uh, like the color of it like that really pretty pink and then on this side is the actual lip pencil so let me go ahead and swatch it so that's pretty um honestly I don't think this is like a color for me personally but I think it is a very pretty color let me go ahead and swatch the primer and see if like the primer has color or like a tint to it yeah the primer doesn't have any color but the lip color is actually really pretty I just personally am not kind of like a fan of this color range but I think my mom maybe will really like this color so that's nice and I mean the packaging is really nice too and you do get like a ton of products so 
that's also really nice as well. And lastly, we have this pretty vulgar shimmering swan highlighter, which retails for $32. The packaging is so cute. It's silver and it says a pretty vulgar logo. And so this is a highlighter. I didn't even know pretty vulgar had highlighters, but I'm pretty happy that I got one. I think the option was either a highlighter or a bronzer and they kind of made the boxes at random so that looks like a really pretty highlighter i want to say it's kind of like a light champagne gold highlighter it has like hints of like silver in there it's really pretty i feel like this highlighter would be very flattering to like fair to medium toned skin girls and if you are a little bit deeper this as like a shadow or an inner corner highlight or even a brow bone highlight would look very beautiful as well and overall i think this is just like a beautiful highlighter like i'm honestly very impressed it feels really smooth as well so i'm really excited to try this out so I quickly went ahead and added everything up and the overall value was $121. So overall, I am pretty happy with everything that I received. I think this was an overall really good box. The only item, if I want to be super picky, that I was kind of like 50-50 on was this Tristique Lip pencil but that's just me being super picky this is a really pretty color and I'm sure with a nude gloss on top of it it'll be even prettier so I am very happy with everything that I received in this month's box definitely let me know what was one of your favorite items from the February box thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye